Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss a topic in hydrology that is risk and reliability of hydraulic structures. Hydraulic structures, for example, dams, culverts, weirs, or spillways. So basically, those structures which are partially or completely submerged in water, which are helping us in diverting or disrupting or completely stopping the flow, those structures we call as hydraulic structures. So when we design such structures, there is always a chance of failure. So suppose a structure is designed for a particular time that is called as the design life of that structure. And as an engineer, we want that structure to serve its purpose till its design life. For example, if I say a dam has a design life of 100 years, that means the structure dam must serve its purpose for 100 years. It should not fail. But while designing hydraulic structures, there is always a chance that the structure can fail. What is the reason behind that? The reason is the uncertainties. Uncertainties in uncertainties in the hydrologic events such as floods. Now there are chances that extreme events, we are always interested in such extreme events in hydrology. Extreme means either minimum or maximum. So we are always interested what is the maximum rainfall happening because that is only leading to the uh, flood condition. And nowadays we know that because of climate change, because of urbanization, such uh, events are very much happening. Initially, it was not that much frequent, but nowadays it is too much frequent. The reason being there are so many other events like climate change, which are uh, affecting such hydrological cycle. So in this particular video, we are going to learn how to estimate the risk associated with the design of that structure. Now, as I told you, the uncertainty in the uh, hydrologic events is causing that risk. So it is very much important for us to find out what is the probability, what is the chance of that extreme event to occur. For that, we require historical data of such events. Historical data means we require the past data. For example, if I say a river is having a flow of 100 meter cube per second. So that discharge data I require not from past one year or two year, but for past 30 years or 35 years. Only then I can find what was the maximum flow and how frequently it has occurred. So here I think most of you got it. I am discussing about return period. So when we say that the probability of such extreme event, we also discuss it with respect to return period. Return period is nothing but in simple language we can say return period is the recurrence interval or it is the time period after which such hydrologic event for example flood will repeat itself. Now here I am going to explain this return period with the help of very simple example. Let us say that a dam having a design life of 100 years is designed to handle a flood of return period is equals to 1000 years. So basically return period is designated by the symbol capital T. So here I have made a simple statement that there is a dam. It has a design life of 100 years and it is supposed it is supposed to handle a flood of return period 1000 years. That means this flood, flood is nothing but the high discharge or heavy discharge across a river. So such flood magnitude is having a return period of 1000 years means on an average flood of such so and so magnitude will occur 
once in thousand years. So return period is defined as the time interval after which a hydrological event is going to repeat itself. Now again it is not said with certainty. There are lot of factors that affect the hydrological events occurrence. Therefore we always say that it is a probable uh, approach, probabilistic approach that we say. So when I say that a flood has a return period of thousand years, what I am trying to say is this flood has a chance of occurring once in thousand years. Probability of occurrence of any event is associated with the return period. If I say that X centimeter of rainfall has a return period of 20 years, that means there is a chance that once in 20 years such X centimeter of rainfall can occur. Maybe it can occur twice in those years or maybe it may not occur at all. But we always uh, find it with respect to some probability. So here in this uh, particular video as we are going to find out the risk associated with the structure or the reliability of the structure, we need to have the uh, idea about the return period. Now let us uh, look at how we can proceed with the risk. So here risk in other words can also be defined as what is the probability of failure. See when I say that the risk associated with this particular dam that I have given in this question is 10%. That means there is a 10% chance that this structure can fail in these 100 years. I cannot be 0%, I mean there cannot be a 0% risk. There is always some risk associated with the structure because they are, these structures are associated with the natural events. A flood is a naturally occurring phenomena. Although it is affected by human factors, but with the natural factors there are always some randomness. So we cannot be 100% sure ki this dam will not fail at all in 100 years. So when I say risk is 10%, that means 90% of the time there is a chance that the dam will be safe, but 10% risk is there. Now it depends if you want to attain high value of uh, the uh, reliability, basically risk and reliability are opposite to each other. If you want to attain high reliability, that means you want to minimize the risk. So when you are working towards minimizing the risk, you have to design your structure for higher return period. I will tell you why. See, the probability of occurrence of those events which are having high return period is low. So what did I just say? Just a second, I'll scroll it down. Okay, so as I was saying, the probability of occurrence of any event is inversely proportional or basically it is equals to 1 by return period. Those events which are having very high return period have less chance of occurrence. If I say that a flood has return period of 1000 years, that means once in 1000 year it has a chance of occurring. So probability will be 1 by 1000. Okay, so I can say 0.001, that much chance is there. Okay, so uh, here we are trying to say that the probability and return period are related to each other. Now when I say the risk 
I want to know what is the probability of failure of that structure. So even if once such high magnitude flood hit my hydraulic structure, definitely the structure will fail. So risk can also be written as the probability of risk can also be written as the probability of at least once if the hydrological event occurs. Why I am saying at least once? Because even if one time this event is going to happen, the structure will fail. And what I want? I want the probability of failure. Because why? Because that is what is defined as the risk. Risk means what is the chance that the structure will fail? Damn, I am referring to the hydraulic structure. Okay, so now this probability can be found by using binomial expression. Now, I think you are aware that uh, when we do this binomial expression, the probability that any event will occur R times out of total N times is NCR P to the power R Q to the power N minus R. Where what is P? P is the probability of occurrence. And Q is the probability of non-occurrence. Either an event will happen or it will not happen. What is the probability of not happening? It is equals to 1 minus probability of happening. So, I can say P is equals to 1 minus Q or Q is equals to 1 minus P. This is also simple to understand. Either even an event will occur or not occur. Sum of probabilities is always 1. So using this binomial expression, I can find that out of the given design life, if I want the structure to fail or to not fail, how can I find the probability? So here risk is equals to the probability that at least once this flood of such high magnitude is going to hit the structure. So how can I find at least once? At least once means one or more times. So can I write it as one minus probability of not occurring? Yes. Probability of at least once means probability that it will happen once, twice, thrice like that. So, if I add prob all the probabilities, the sum should be 1. So, I have just taken this P of 0 to the right hand side. So, 1 minus P of 0 means 1 minus probability of not occurring. So, here I can very uh, simply write it 1 minus NCR P to the power R Q to the power N minus R. Now, what is N? What is R? Because I do not want this event to occur, so R will be 0 out of n times if r times the event occur this is the expression general expression in this question my design life if you go back to the question design life of the structure is 100 so out of 100 times out of 100 years i do not want any time so zero will be the r favorable is no no time it should occur what is p to the power r now this p, the small p is what is the probability of occurrence? Just now I told you probability of occurrence and return period are inversely related. So I can say if once in thousand times it is occurring, so probability will be 1 by 1000 because 1000 is the return period and r is 0. Anyways, I can write q as 1 minus 1 by 1000 because q is probability of not occurring. Okay, so if occurring is 1 by 1000, not occurring will be 1 minus 1 by 1000 and n minus r it's simple 100 minus 0. So I can write here 100 c0 and this will be 1 into triple 9 by 1000 whole to the power 100. I can also write it as 1 minus 100 factorial. 0 factorial 100 minus 0 factorial into 1 into triple 9 by 1000. Okay, uh, then I can further simplify. See, what is this? This is permutation and combinations. I think we have studied it in mathematics in school. So, this is that. Now, let's just quickly calculate. This is coming out as cancelling factorial. 0 factorial is 1 and this will cancel. So, what I will get is 
1 minus triple 9 by 1000 whole to the power 100. So I can quickly solve it. Okay, so what I am getting is 0 0.095. This is the risk associated with the structure. If I want to further make it meaningful, I can say 9.5%. That means out of 100%, there is a chance that 9.5% chance is there that the structure can fail. Okay, and what is the reliability? Reliability is nothing but 1 minus risk. Reliability is how safe is your structure. So if I do 100 minus 9.5%, what I will get is 90.5. So 90.5% chances are there that the structure is safe, that the flood of such high magnitude, which is having a return period of 1000 years, is not going to hit. The structure will be able to take that much uh, discharge. And risk is that 9.5% chances are there that this flood might hit our hydraulic structure. So I hope you understood the meaning of risk and reliability. In simple words, if I want to summarize, risk is the probability that at least one time such hydrologic event will happen. Or risk is the probability of failure of that structure. Failure will happen even if at least one time that event happens. Okay. Reliability is what is the probability that the structure will be safe? So risk and reliability are kind of opposite to each other. Now you need not remember those formulas which you see in many of the textbooks like 1 minus 1 by this one is your uh, risk or this one is your reliability because there is no point in mugging those uh, formulas. You can just go with the logic. Risk is probability that at least one time this event occurs. You know that probability you are going to find out using binomial expression. So we can use this binomial expression. At least once means 1 minus probability of 0. At least once means 1 or more than 1. So you can use the simple theorem of probability that summation of all the probabilities is always 1. So I hope you understood this video. In the next video, I will get more videos based on, I mean, I will get more uh, numericals on this topic. And uh, in case you have any doubt, you can put it on the comment section. In case you have liked the video, you can hit the like button and you can share it with your friends as well. Thank you.